Hi everyone, today's video is going to be rating every single one of my star stable horses. People were requesting, oh, rate your horses. And I'm like, I have, right now actually, I have 108 horses. I could go in here and choose 18 horses and then just rate 18, but what's the point of that if I'm only gonna select pick and choose or do random ones? That just doesn't make sense. I decided that I would do all of them very quickly the challenge is I will not be giving a reason why I rated them the way that I rate them, which you'll have to fill in the blanks and come to your own conclusions as to why I rate a horse a certain way. And I'm also going to be selling some horses because they need to be shunned. They need to be exiled finally because I can't keep looking at them. What the frick? I think I locked my cat in my closet. Snowball's not even in there. I've been trying to put some horses out that are not maxed yet. Oh yeah, and I haven't even announced my newest horse. So I finally got my horse leveled up in the horses app. I named her Solo Cup. And the reason I chose that name is because the classic Solo Cup color is red. It just makes sense. What stall do I want to use for this? I think I want to use this stall over here. And then I'm going to go in alphabetical order because I want to be organized. First things first, stick all my horses except Gibby in the pasture. I hate how this is called the pasture and it's like, this is not a pasture. You see these icons? You know, it would be so cool if you could just walk out and they would all be, they could all be turned out together in a big, in a big field. First horse on the chopping block is a gift. This is the birthday horse. I don't even remember if I gave this horse a nickname. Five out of ten. Next is a horse or Anushka. Two out of ten. This is Amethyst. Six out of ten. Here's Aurora or Almadora. 7 out of 10. Baby Girl or Lola, sad out of 10. Big Dream or Chicago, 1 out of 10. Here is Bluebird or Pocoyo, 7 out of 10. Blue Blood or Spike, 2 out of 10. This is Blue Eye or Splash. Oh my gosh. Is this a no, 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 I should... Just kidding, just kidding. 0 0.5 out of 10. Blue Feather or Peacock. I went back and looked at my horses list to delete it off and I got the nickname wrong. This horse was a girl and her name was Dory. I rate this horse a 1 out of 10. Ever since I got this horse, I have not ridden it. It just bothers my eyes so bad. But it has a nice flow until you get to the feather part and then I'm like, what is this museum painting going on? Here's the regular coat. This just looks like a bunch of keyholes. I just, I can't do it. This is Blue Moon or Pablo, four out of 10. I was almost gonna say five, but I'm gonna say four out of 10. Brave Blood or Bradley, five out of 10. Brave King or Fergus, I'm gonna say six out of 10. Brave Queen or Eleanor, nine out of 10. Bright Light or Lila, 9 out of 10. Here is Butter Cake or Barbie, 0 0.5 out of 10. It was so weird because somebody commented on my video and was so offended that I named this horse Barbie. This horse is a pretty horse, just not for me personally. Max Limit Reach, oh my lord. I really like the colors of these new boots and the style of them, but the problem is that they are too low. You know, if the character's knee is right here and the boot ends right here, what's the point of having a tall boot? These are totally the men's department swimsuit section. Since when did this go in the global store? I don't even know where this stuff came from. I What have I been missing? What is this and where did this come from? With this outfit, you might as well just sell a sign on the back that says kick me and call it a day. I think my character wants me to just log off of this account and never come back. I never even realized this, but there are two pockets instead of one on this style. 
you know, these are things that I never really think about. It's like little boob pads. Let's just get a white tank top. And I swear I owned this one before. So I'm gonna buy it back actually, <laughs> because I don't know why I sold it. Maybe I was like, oh, it's just too basic. I'd never use it. And now that's kind of what I like. Page 17 is the page of all of the stuff that I'm gonna sell in the future when I would like to buy something. Next, we have Butterfly or Dolores, 10 out of 10. Caramel Cookie or Samoa, 9.5 out of 10. Carrot Cake or Carrots, 7 out of 10. Cherry Blossom or Azalea, 9.5 out of 10. Chocolate Caramel or Franklin, 9.5 out of 10. Chunky Bean or Chimichanga, 1 out of 10. Citrine, 5.5 out of 10. Club Horse, 8 out of 10. Cocoa Chip or Cocoa, 8 out of 10. Coffee Time or Granola, 6 out of 10. Danger Time or Bulldozer, 7 out of 10. Dark Beauty or Annika, 3 out of 10. Dark Gift or Maleficent. I think I also call her Mal, 6 out of 10. I feel like I should leave this information page up for the rest of the horses. Then you can see what level they are in their breed and stuff. This is Dark Secret or Mona. I rate this horse a 2 out of 10. Doo Doo or Dopey, 7.5 out of 10. Dog Lady or Lupita, 9 out of 10. Dream Girl or Twinkie, 3 out of 10. Dream Weaver or Walter, 8 out of 10. Everflower or Myrtle, I believe. 7.5 out of 10. Ever Trouble or Eloise, 7.5 out of 10. This feels like those old social media trends where people would go on. I don't even know if people still do this. I hope not. Where they go on and they say, oh, write me. And then people would go and comment and it would be so awkward. Here's the difference, okay? These are virtual horses, so... You know, I'm gonna let it slide. Here is Flashlight or Leslie, 10 out of 10. Flower Girl, this is the club horse, I think. I don't even know the nickname. 1 out of 10. Flutterfly or Bibble, 10 out of 10. Fox Hunter or Fergie, also known as Socks in realistic videos, 10 out of 10. Foxy, this horse also used to be Fox Hunter and people would comment on that, but now the Jorvik name Foxy is available, so I changed it. 3 out of 10. Ghost Friend or Casper, 9 out of 10. Ghost Girl or Emily, I believe this horse's nickname is Emily, 8 out of 10. Grandfather or Poppy, I hate how they keep putting their heads down. It's so annoying because I'm just trying to show off the horse and they're just like, yeah, I'm gonna eat the dirt right now. 6.5 out of 10. Grandmother or Sally, 5 out of 10. This is Grass or Lawn Mower, 5 out of 10. This is Honeymoon or Hazel. Then I went on a tangent because this horse has always been a trip for me, but 2 out of 10. Hot Pepper or Wasabi, solid 8 out of 10. Ice Crystal or Elvis, 8.5 out of 10. Ivory Tooth or Dumbo, 9 out of 10. Jade, I give an 8 out of 10. Jasper, 9.5 out of 10. Koala Bear or Koala, at this point, I would say 3 out of 10. Legend or Michael Jackson, 8.5 out of 10. Light Chaser or Lacey, 10 out of 10. Little Drop or Diaper, 2.5 out of 10. Little Hero or Diego, 1.5 out of 10. 
I don't think I'm ever gonna ride this horse. At first, I think I bought this horse because I was like, oh my gosh, this cute bay, the dapples and everything. But with the Marwaris, it looks weird around the flank with every coat. Looking at this horse, I can't get with it. Bye, Diego. How many horses have I sold now? Three? Little Wish or Lyra? 8 out of 10. Lost Soul or Eeyore? 9.5 out of 10. This is Love Song or Crush? I'm gonna say a solid 3 out of 10. Lucky Charm or Karis? Five out of- actually, oh my gosh, okay, 5.5 out of 10. Lucky Clover or Clover, 9.5 out of 10. This is Lush. This used to be Luna Moon, but I could not get with it. I did not like that whole situation. So now this horse is just Lush. 7 out of 10. Marzipan or Marzia. 8.5 out of 10. Meteor Rain or Meaty. 10 out of 10. Moonbeam or Mo. I'm just gonna say our characters are like the height of six year olds. But this whole coat, this is a whole mess. I kept this horse for sentimental reasons, but I have Twinkie, and Twinkie is an old Yorvik pony as well. I used to have an attachment to Mo. 0.4 out of 10. The energy is just not there anymore. You know, the connection. Am I gonna cry over a virtual pony? This pony makes me sad. This pony has to find a new home. And I hope it's not with the glue man. I don't even care about the Yorvik shillings anymore. I'm just over it. I came over here. I saw the saddle pad. I liked it. <coughs> Moon fighter. 0.0. 0111111666 Moon Pie or Panda 7.5 out of 10. This is Moon Ray or Rhea. I did change this horse's Yorvik name recently because it used to be Moon Wings, but I felt like Moon Ray worked better because I could remember the nickname and I used to not be able to remember Rhea. It would take me forever to like get it to click, you know? 7.5 out of 10. Moon Sand or Mongoose? 9 out of 10. Moonshine or Miguel? 5 out of 10. North Peak or Klondike? 8 out of 10. Ocean Friend or Shrimp? 9 out of 10. Ocean Friend is a dude. Yeah. Old Spice or Curry? 7 out of 10. Onyx Stone or Vera? This horse needs a Yorvik name change so bad. I just can't figure out something that goes with Vera, so. An 8 out of 10. Opal gets a 9 out of 10. Pale Paloma, 8.5 out of 10. I believe Gibby Gibson is next on the list because Gibby is pale boy. Gibby Gibson gets a 9 out of 10. This is Party Cake or Funfetti, 0.5 out of 10. I feel like these Winfells or whatever they call them, I don't know why I just have them hanging around. Maybe they're cursed. After this video's over, I will go to Farah since... You know, I've been doing some of my dailies recently, you know, trying to train some horses up and do reputation and whatever. I will take care of this situation. So if in the next video you for some reason see Funfetti, probably not because I never take Funfetti out. But, you know, if I do and Funfetti looks a little more ashy, you know what happened. Peach pie or peish. Well, peach, but I say peish because of Jenna Marbles. 2 out of 10. Next is Pearly. Yeah, 3.5 out of 10. Next is Pumpkin Pie or Pie. 7.5 out of 10. Red Heart or Amara. 6 out of 10. Red Horse or Ravioli. 7 out of 10 sounds good. Red Velvet or Merida. I totally should have waited and gotten the Blue Roan one from the app. Instead, I'm just not gonna ride this horse. Okay, bye Merida. 
This is kind of offensive though to her because, you know, I'm just gonna buy a new Merida someday. I didn't even say what I rated that horse. I was gonna rate that horse a 1.5 out of 10. Rich Lady or Cruella, I give a 4 out of 10. Rockstar or Roxy, a 9 out of 10. Royal Princess or Lola, depression out of 10. Here's sad rainbow. I rate Yolanda 7 out of 10. This is sea witch or Ursula an 8 out of 10. This is silver wings or Pegasus also Peggy a 6 out of 10. Next is small horse or Mickey 10 out of 10. Snow princess or Snow White 6.5 out of 10. Solo Cup, 8.5 out of 10. This is Sparkfly or Fiona, 2 out of 10. The Wonderful Spirit. I rate this horse a 2 out of 10, 1 point out of 10 for each eyebrow. Strawberry Cake or Shortcake, a 1.5 out of 10. Sugar Free or Phyllis, 5 out of 10. Super Splash or Splash number 2, 7 out of 10. Sweetheart or Stanley, 9.5 out of 10. Tiger Eye or Tigger, I'm gonna say 7 out of 10. Tooth Fairy or Flossie, 9 out of 10. Tsunami or Susie, a 9.5 out of 10. This is Eunice, the horse that made me get very pissed off at Star Stable when the whole naming thing, do I even have to get into it? I made a whole video about it. I rate Eunice a one out of 10. Next is Eunice, who is not supposed to be Eunice. I can't figure out what to do at this point. I rate this horse, this, let's just say her nickname is Accident for now. 4 out of 10. This is Winterberry or Dove. I rate her a 9.5 out of 10. This is Winterflower or Fauna. This used to be Flora, but I actually want her to be Fiona instead because I don't like Fauna. 0 0.5 out of 10. Next is Winterflower or Flora. This is the new, you know, updated model of Flora. I rate this horse a 9 out of 10. This is my horse who is in my profile picture. I started this video off with 108 horses. Now I have 103 horses. So I do feel a lot better about that. I always end up feeling better when I do sell some horses off because less horses to choose from. I don't know how people do it. Never selling horses at this point. Maybe I would feel better about keeping more horses if you could actually see them in a pasture, separate them into different fields, and then choose, oh yeah, I want these ones to be turned out together. That really felt like a long haul. This is technically an all my horses video. Maya is a hazard up here. What if I had a really spooky horse in the stall and Maya's just aggressively reading. Anyway, sorry Maya, I do really appreciate you. I have one day left. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.